Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. It's hard enough to abandon your loved ones to themselves. It's even harder to learn that they are not being treated the way you'd hoped. Julia Wiggins shared two disturbing pictures of an elderly woman face down at a desk in a blanket, slumping over and alone at an Ohio elder care facility. This is how we found our beloved mother, Esther Brown, at Rehabilitation Nursing Home. Wiggins said she had taken Esther's son, James, home to change clothes before they came back to the Alter Care Noble Ponds nursing facility to discover the disheartening sight. We were told that she had been transferred to a private room on the other side of the facility, and when they started searching for her or nurses to help them find her, they're saying they've seen something in the nurses' station center. After being inquisitive, we approached the subject, only to find out that it was Mother Esther Brown face down in a soft pillow, gasping for breath and strangling on her own saliva, Wiggins shared in the post. Her son's reaction was almost as tragic as their discovery, as Wiggins writes. Her son began to cry out, that's my mama, and we rushed to her, and upon hearing her son's voice, she tried with all her might to raise her head. Wiggins captured the powerful photos before she says they started banging on doors and yelling for help for five to ten minutes before someone came to help. I was able to capture two pictures to share with you so you would learn never to put your loved ones in the care of people who are only on the job for a paycheck, she continued on the post. He is encouraging many people to make random calls to nursing facilities between the second and third hours. She shared her concerns further, saying that the nursing home was supposed to be the best in all of Stark County and that they continued to have issues at the facility. We have continued to be faced with issues at the nursing facility, Wiggins says. Wiggins brought back James again and she claims no one responded to him, buzzing in five times in a row, at least not until she called to tell them he was trying to make contact. The nurse believed that the key to notify her had never come on to warn her. Wiggins didn't believe her for one minute because it was the same nurse she claims ignored her before. She says she's not done. She's made calls out to the executive director Saturday night who says she had finally heard back from on Monday. Wiggins also wants to remind people to look out for their relatives. I was able to capture two pictures to share with you so you would learn. Never to leave your loved ones in the care of people who are only on the job for a paycheck, she wrote. She is hoping the post will go viral, so others will be aware of the maltreatment going on in these overpriced nursing facilities. According to CBS affiliate WOIO, the Ohio Department of Health and the Ohio Department of Aging are investigating the situation. In a statement to the television station, Alter Care Nobles Pond wrote, We were informed of a family complaint on February 15, 2019. We have followed the protocol established regarding any allegation, including immediately reporting the concern to the Ohio Department of Health and completing an internal investigation. WOIO reports the executive director confirmed the facility has followed up with the family. We are in contact with her family, including her son who visits daily, a statement said. The resident is in no distress and remains well cared for by the Alter Care Nobles Pond team of dedicated professionals. She is comfortable and safe. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.